How's everybody doing out there today? This is the first segment called The Clock is Ticking in my new series with the RecycledHearts.org ministry. The other day I found this clock at a garage sale and when I first saw it, I picked it up, you know, it was heavy. It's not plastic and it, you know, it's nowhere to put a battery. <laughs> you know, and I figured, oh man, this thing's old. I thought it's an heirloom from somebody that had it out there. So, you know, I asked how much it was and they said well you could just have it because it doesn't work well you know I got home and I started looking at it and you know the clock is interesting to me as it didn't have a way you know a place to put a battery or wind up mainspring key you know and I you know I started to look at it I realized that it was a 2003 reproduction <laughs> bummer well it's okay so still no mechanism to make it work so I tried this so it's like all of a sudden you know I just pulled this thing out and that's what it was it just comes right out of the front now probably you folks out there probably may have known that but I didn't know it but you know but when I pull this thing out so here's the battery right there there was no bad well the battery was in there it was caked in white powder you could hardly even see the battery I've already cleaned this up but, you know, by the way, the powder, if you find that stuff, that white dusty powder, you know, you want to be very careful to remove it. It's harmful to the human body and the spots will appear on your skin if you get some of it on your skin. And also the battery contains zinc and manganese, so you want to be more than just careful. <laughs> Inhaling zinc oxide powder, which is on there, is what that was, was just covered in this white powder. You know, that is very toxic in ways, you know, and can lead to chills and fever and zinc poisoning. So my dad taught me, you know, a long time ago to clean it with a small, soft brush and warm water. You dampen the brush, you know, not dipping it, but be careful just on that. You don't want to get too much water in there, but you want to get all that powder soaked up. And then you, you turn it upside down, basically, and then you take a knife and then just knock it out. And, and a lot of it will go into the wastebasket or whatever you have, a box or something. You want to get rid of that right away. So... You know, then I used Don dish soap with a little bit of warm water to clean everything up in there and then a hair dryer to kind of blow it on this mechanism so it doesn't, you know, if you got any water or something in there to get rid of all that stuff right there. You put the battery in. And bingo. <laughs> bingo. And then there you go, they get the clock working right there. You know, the old self of the clock died, and the new self of this clock is born. Keep in mind, the clock is ticking for all of us, by the way. And one day that clock on this side of eternity will stop. That's one day our clock's going to stop. Just like cleaning this clock up from a bad thing, a corroded life, we can change our corroded life through Jesus. He's our warm water, our living water, that can clean you and change your life in an instant. Imagine that in an instant. You know, this is your time for your salvation today. In, in Hebrews 3, 7 and 8 says, So as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you hear His voice, do not harden your heart. In other words, if He's talking to you, say, Hey, come follow me or something like that. Don't harden your heart. Open up your heart. If your heart is corroded today and you have lost hope, ask Jesus now to help you. You know, give him your heart today and have it recycled and follow him and he will bless every step you take and your clock will not stop ticking all the way up into heaven. Guarantee it. Thank you, folks. See you next time. If you have any questions about recycling your heart, Come to the Greedy Vineyard Church or go online to the Vineyard USA's website and find a church near you. We'll help you with that.